This podcast is sponsored by Link. If you're learning English and want to study the transcript of this episode or any other episode, there is a link to the lesson on Link, L-I-N-G-Q, in the description. Link is a language learning tool that allows you to turn anything in your target language into a lesson. Podcasts like this one, YouTube videos, Netflix shows, news articles, blog posts, whatever it is you're into. One click on the Link browser extension and you have a language lesson to work through translating words and phrases you don't know. <laughs> yeah, we um, my we had some friends staying with us here and they were drinking like a nice bottle of red wine and talking about how good it was. And I'm like, dang it, like I'm not gonna be able to taste it. And then I asked if I could take a sip and spit it out. <laughs> And because I just wanted to taste it. Uh, at first, my roommate yeah. said no, because it's too expensive. But, you know, that's how you really taste wine, right? Like if you were actually going to a wine tasting. Yeah, um, true. This, this, they didn't let you, so you didn't do it. Um, this also reminds me that something that um, can help, like has helped me, and, and I don't know, it sounds like you're maybe kind of doing something like this, is to have like another drink that you can have in place of the... Mm. Um, alcoholic beverage like some I I really like sparkling wines like Prosecco and stuff so um, yeah, I'm really too. into like sparkling water that I can and I, I can add fun stuff into it like squeeze an orange into it or add some mint mm -hmm. to it or I made this um, mm. this like lavender extract last year um, which is really nice mm. to like put in um, some sparkling water too so something fun like that that you can like actively enjoy while other people are drinking it, yeah i have found to be helpful yeah and like put it in a wine glass yeah and just a fancy a fancy glass always helps i find yeah, as well totally. yeah definitely what is the definitely. what's the fake beer you're drinking it's just um a canadian supermarket brand um okay yeah like blonde beer i i've tried a bunch of different ones like budweiser has one um I can't remember the popular beer, beer brands that have. Oh, Heineken has a, a fake, not a fake beer. I guess it's de-alcoholized beer. It is beer, but there's just no alcohol in it taken out afterwards. I don't know how it works. Right. But yeah, this is just a um, Canadian like supermarket brand. And it is good. I think it tastes great. So good. I drink that. And some. I also drink kombucha, which I've always loved nice. and used to make until it exploded in my kitchen. And I... I don't make it anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous making kombucha. Did it literally explode? It's like fermented. Yeah, it um, it ferments in a bottle, and you need to put uh, a lid on the bottle. So the tea, I don't know how um, if you know much about it. There's like a scoby, which is like a bacteria, yeast bacteria mm -hmm. chunk. It's kind of gross looking, mm -hmm. and you put uh, sugary tea in to a, a glass bottle with the scoby and the scoby eats the sugar hmm. and um ferments and the drink is quite vinegary and um yeah it's effervescent so yeah it's it, it, if you leave it in too long it can explode and yeah that happened to me and there was i put blueberries in it so that it looked like <sighs> I murdered someone in my kitchen. It was just red splatters on the ceiling. Were you so, were you uh, in there when that happened? Yes. Yeah. Because mm. I actually it didn't just explode out of nowhere. I I was in the process of opening it to to try it and see if it was done, and it I I'd left it in a bit long. So it it was it's one of those like IKEA glass bottles with the like a champagne bottle, you know, with the pop, uh -huh. the little plastic pop off. And it just, yeah, I gave it a little touch and it just exploded everywhere. So oh my gosh. It was kind of fun. <laughs> I screamed and the neighbors must have thought someone had been shot or something. Not, not just another day yeah. at Elle's house. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but uh, it was delicious. What was left was delicious. So Great. Yeah. That's a silver lining. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, how are you finding exercise? Like, how are you finding the motivation to exercise? Because that's something I'm finding really difficult right now. I don't know if it's just generally or COVID work from home world is crazy. 
I don't know. But well, and God. and let's not forget that that you're a mom. You've got a, a little kid mm -hmm. that you're also taking care yeah, of while true. working from home. And um, I that's and true. I'm sure you get yeah. a lot of exercise just like chasing him around. <laughs> yes, that is true. So, yes, that's very. True. I have the luxury of not having any dependents right now, so um, there's also just <laughs> that. Um, but mm -hmm. it's it's also like incremental. Um, so. I started um, getting back into exercising from home at some point last year, um, and I've been aiming to do three times a week for like a year and a half, but I was barely even doing twice a week at the beginning of last year. Um, so I started with one like at the beginning of last year, and I said, I just need to like stick to that since like going from zero to three is hard. You know, and if you try mm -hmm. to do that and you fail, then every week you're just failing. So I said, let me go from zero to one and like get that down. And so that's what I would do. And then I finally felt pretty comfortable with that. So I said, okay, like I kind of know how long this takes. I'm going to add an, another one. And I did that for several months um, from around the halfway point of last year until um, the beginning of this year. And then I said, okay, like I need to just add one more day in. And, and that's all you're doing every time is just adding one more day in. Um, I like working out from home. I've always liked working out from home. And I know a lot of people prefer the mm -hmm. gym. So that's, mm -hmm. a, I guess, an advantage I have that I just prefer to do it at home. Um, but it's also yeah. fast. Like I don't spend an hour and a half working out. I, If I'm like really focused, <laughs> I can get through it all in probably about 35 minutes. Um, so oh, it's not a huge time commitment either. And I find, um, now that I'm becoming aware of how I connect, like my feelings to, uh, I, like, I guess I've just become more aware of the fact that, um, I'm a really anxious person and the anxiety lives a lot like in my head. And so I've mm -hmm. just started to correlate a remedy um, of, of anxiety with doing something physical. So maybe it's not going to be working mm. out every time. Maybe it is going on a walk or doing yoga so with like lower intensity stuff. Um, but mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, so I'm like feeling so like hyperactive about my anxiety that, um, I'm like, well, let me just like channel this energy into something good. And I start yeah. like doing some squats mm -hmm. and some curls and, you find that like you're kind of getting that energy out you know what i mean yeah 100 percent. yeah i agree with that totally yeah working like like you said earlier out of the head work it out of the head through the body i definitely when i'm anxious um find that yeah i'll go i even say to my husband I'm like I had a lot of anxious energy so i did x um right <laughs> it's usually like something around the house yeah um because yeah wh why not instead of um and nothing wrong with you know sometimes i will just lay down and just kind of try and figure things out but I find the most helpful thing is actually to get up and do something to move move through it instead of letting it sit in you and just make you annoyed and yeah upset right so yeah yeah and we're so yeah and especially now there's yeah lots to be anxious about yeah and we've become so yeah. sedentary I mean like we used to mm -hmm. just like walk more in our regular lives because like you walk from your front door mm -hmm. to the car and into the office etc so like you mm -hmm. I found I really have to kind of manufacture those experiences whereas before I, I was just yeah. moving more and as you said like you move into it and the movement and activity um helps you just get out of your own head mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah so you um so your plan then is to, because I saw that you have like a spreadsheet, you're super organized, I love that. Mm -hmm. Your plan is to hit, like not break the chain, hit your weekly goal throughout 2021 and then maybe beyond. Is that is that the, the idea? Yeah, I think we'll see how, um, how it goes this year. And um, when it comes to like, most of the habits are just related to like daily um, health and nutrition stuff. And like the no, mm -hmm. not drinking piece, I decided to just like be sober for a year, but who knows, like maybe after this year, I'm going to say, I like how I feel and I don't want to reintegrate mm -hmm. that into my life more, mm -hmm. more than likely I'm probably going to 
like significantly cut back on my drinking and you know um yeah because again like I'm gonna be a lot healthier if I only drink once a month you know than like every week or every day mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean that I failed mm -hmm. myself necessarily um like if there's an opportunity mm -hmm. to drink and I want to then I will but yeah, the, the goal with right. all of them is to not break the chain, but I already like missed two days of yoga this year. Um, I entered that in my sheet, but I just keep moving and like, mm. I'm fully prepared to <laughs> miss some days on some of these things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'm just trying to like store that information now and not judge it. Like just say, okay, like that happened. Mm -hmm. How did I feel as a result? Not like, did mm -hmm. I get down on myself, but more so just how did I feel physically and in my mood and spirit? Um, so it's really just like mm -hmm. data collection at this point, you could say. Yeah, but that's useful though. Really, really useful. Yeah. yeah, and and what about you? You're just trying to um, not drink forever, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I had a, I I was drinking way too much, and it wasn't um, serving me anymore for sure. So I think. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, uh, you know, degenerate alcoholic, <laughs> you know, out, out like a s sleeping on the street or whatever, but I definitely got to a point where, um, I wasn't, I would say, you know, oh, tonight I'm just going to have one drink and then I would have more, you know, tonight, oh, maybe I shouldn't drink three out of seven nights a week, but then I would drink every night anyway. So it got to the point where I, I wasn't able to keep uh, promises to myself, which is always a red flag. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't know how I will know if I'm ready to drink what I would call res responsibly again. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, after a year, two years, I'll, I'll think, okay, well, I could start enjoying a glass of wine every now and then again and I won't fall back into that pattern that I really didn't like so mm -hmm. the goal I think is to just maybe be sober for the rest of my life we'll see yeah we'll see I mean well as well I'm not gonna um put too much pressure on myself because the rest of my life is the rest of my life so yeah you know maybe I don't drink for a year and then I drink for a bit and then I don't drink for two years or, or I'm back and I'm able to just have a couple of glasses of wine each week. But so far I'm liking the way I feel and I love the money saving. Wow. Right. That just goes to show how much I was drinking. <laughs> that was like, wow, oh, yeah. all this extra cash. <laughs> it's easy to spend the money on it and also in the calories yeah. too. I mean, I know you commented you're oh, yeah. losing some weight. Like we forget um, how much yeah. of our calories are attributed to, to drinking. So there are all the, yeah, there are the benefits. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, once you know, yeah. like, you know, I don't know, let's say like you are sober for this year. Um, once you know, you can do that. I find that that's also really yeah. helpful too, because like you said, you know, you could get back yeah. into it, but then you could say, well, I can just also not do it for this next year if I want to, because you've already done that before. Yeah. So that's not so scary, yeah. like the fear of the unknown. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's very true. And the fear of, yeah, can I, you know, do I have a big problem? Like, can I actually not drink for however long? And if, if, if I can, so far it's been almost three months and it's like, okay. Yeah. It makes me feel better too about my, myself. Yeah. And especially while but, you're um, around it too. I mean, that's a, that's a great feat. Um, mm -hmm. I think most people think they would never be able to do that. Um, especially in this pandemic mm -hmm. where everyone is probably drinking way more than they ever have. So way more. I commend you mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for going forth and tackling that goal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, let's, um, let's keep in touch about these goals. We will anyway for work. So we kind of pepper in how it's going. Yeah. Um, with the no boozing and for you, the exercise, I'll try and exercise. <laughs> maybe you can, maybe t let me know when after each week, what you've done, the yoga and the, the workouts. And I'll be like, okay, I can do one. I like your idea of do one once a week for however many weeks, months, then add another one. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just I like see how you feel. And even if you don't want to commit to like once a week, you could just say, I'm just going to do it once and like see how it feels and then um 
I, I try to like pay attention to the positive physical benefits so I can try to make like a positive mm -hmm. association in my mind <laughs> and it, it took yeah. some time, but we, we got there. So I know, I know you could do that too. Um, but yeah, don't, we all put too much pressure on ourselves. So just we do. start with one. That's true. And I'll definitely keep in touch about it. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Shelby. This was interesting as always. Um, good luck with your goals. And yeah, we'll keep in touch and maybe chat again uh, within 2021 to see how, how it's going if we're still... <laughs> If we're still there yeah that might be interesting definitely i know you <laughs> like a six me, month you just give me an idea like oh gosh now i'm on the hook for this <laughs> so yeah we will see we can do a progress update and um yeah i'm it's always a pleasure to chat with you great okay well i will speak to you soon shelby sounds good see you later l bye